Hello, good evening, this is Diecast Louie, and I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another episode of Friday Night Custom. And this week's episode, we're going to take a look at a little um, Hot Wheels Mark II Volkswagen Golf that I worked on very quickly. It was a very quick build, and um, we're going to take a look at that. And, uh, and also where it went wrong, because I actually mucked up on it. Um, mucked up not too bad. Oh, well, I, I mucked up. That's just, just the end of it. But I thought I'd show it anyway. Um, and also, after that, stay tuned to the end because I'm going to be announcing... Let's just put the camera down a little bit. Sorry, bear with me. I'm going to be announcing the winner, or picking the winner, should I say, of this really cool little 68 Plymouth Barracuda custom that I did last week for last week's episode and I said that I'd be announcing the winner I said I'll be giving it away last week and I said I'll be announcing the winner this week so hang around to the end of the video and you might well the people that commented you might win this but anyway so I was working on this little Mark II Golf let's just bring this M2 case in just to Put it on for the second. So basically, what's happened is um, my stepdaughter is into her cars. She's into a into a golfs. Her father, uh, as as myself, are quite big golf fans. And um, one of his cars that he used to own, he knew the owner. Or he knew he knew roughly where it had gone. He knew the person that had the car. But unfortunately, it ended up in a crash and the car was being broken for parts and he got sent some photographs and all that was left of it basically was a body shell and uh, it was a bit bashed up and my stepdaughter has fond memories of being with her father at different car shows and all that good stuff so she was a little bit upset that the car was uh, no more so to speak so I suddenly thought about eight nine hours before she got home because that's pretty much when I found out that uh, obviously she wasn't too happy about it so I decided to dig out a Mark II Golf from my collection and try and replicate her dad's car as I know her dad quite well and uh, we used to be in the same Volkswagen club so I remember the car so I made a replica of it as best as I could now the fact that I did it really quick stripped the car off in the morning got all the paint off stripped the car down and managed to get the couple of coats of spray and clear coat and all that stuff done the detail and done in under a day isn't isn't the problem the problem was is when i glued it back together and i picked the car up about 20 minutes 20 minutes 20 minutes half an hour later thinking it was dry they must have i must have touched it there and the glue must have been tacky because when i put my hand back on the car to put it down i ended up with a glue splodge there as you can see it's a thumbprint and a little glue splodge there which really irritated me because the car turned out really nice and even though it was a rush job you can see the shine the paint the paint turned out well and i replicated the car really well it was like this it was a greeny blue it isn't a spot on shade but it's as near as i could get it these wheels were very similar to what he had on there just a slightly different color his were polished aluminium i think they were rollos or rollos but these are very similar wheels and I did the lights the same, he had dark like smoke top lights and the lower bits were orange and I made some little badges up for it which were in a similar area to where his was and because um, it was a Mark II GTI I tried to replicate the black around the arches because they have black around them and like I said it was going really well until I got glue splodges on it but anyway I still gave it to her, she was still happy with it and I thought I'd show it this week. Um, it wasn't really made for this week's custom. I just thought I'd show it anyway. But uh, showing what you can do, you know, I'm not recommending that you rush your customs. But I did. It did turn out pretty well. I was quite happy with this until I mucked up with the glue splodges. But anyway, she is happy with it, and that is the main thing. So, like I said, because the car was special to her, and she doesn't have anything left of the car apart from some old fit pictures um i'm gonna screw i've got this box she i've already given the car to him i'm gonna put a, a hole in here and i'm gonna screw it into this m2 case and um because she's been keeping it in this m2 case but i'm gonna screw it into place for her 
um, probably tomorrow. But uh, anyway, I thought I'd show it um, because I don't, because I am quite a fussy person. I like things to be right, and I thought I'd show where I've mucked up for once. Like I said, this wasn't because I was rushing it. This is just because I just didn't realise I made a mistake. But anyway, it's still pretty cool, or at least I think so. So that is this week's Friday Night Custom. Not that you can probably see it, right? I don't know how it's coming out on the camera. But uh, anyway, so she's happy with that. So I'll put that to one side. Now, let's pick the um, winner of this. So I had about 29 people commented um, on this. And... Um, so that without further ado, I think what we'll do is we'll get all the names laid out on the table so you can see who's commented and then we'll get them folded up into into the into a bucket and we'll get a winner announced. So just bear with me. There they are all laid out. So that's all the names. There's about 29 altogether, 29 people that commented, so that's 29 people entered into it. Um, you can't really see them very well as I've got the shadow of me and my hands. Oops. There they all are. So the next step is to get them all folded up and put into this little purple kids bucket and then we'll get one picked out. So just bear with me while I fold them up. Here I am back with all the, all the names folded up into my son's little um, sweet bucket, Halloween sweet bucket I've more borrowed so they're all put in here so without further ado I'd just like to say um, thank you to all of you for all your support and uh, good luck in the draw so let's get a name picked out so we'll do the usual we'll just stir it up a bit of a shake let's pick a name out and the name is Upside down, bit of zoom. Dolstar diecast. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, you have won my giveaway. You have won this 68 um, Plymouth Barracuda, which I customised last Friday night customs. So that will be being shipped off to you. And also, I think while I'm at it. Let's just put the camera down a little bit, I think. I'm going to throw in a travelling buddy. I'm going to throw in this uh, Fast and Furious Dodge Charger that I did a wheel swap on quite a few months ago now, but it was quite easy. A little bit of light detail and some green light wheels, and it's not even been drilled out because I cut them off, and it does roll quite nice. So I'll throw that in as well as a little travelling companion. So there you go. So again, Dolstar Diecast, you have one. So I will leave my email address about now. And if you'd just like to send me your shipping details and I'll get these sent out to you as quickly as I can. But anyway, with that, please like, share, subscribe, stay tuned for more Friday Night Customs, Vintage Matchbox Mondays, Wednesday night movie car mania and all that good stuff to come and as I said before thank you all very very much for your support and with that I'll see you all very very soon thank you very much for watching take care